Hey, man. So what did you think about that song? Yeah, goddamn piece of crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now we got that out of the way. <laughs> what did you think oh, about the song? <laughs> Welcome back to Into the Music. My name is Chris. I'm here with my buddy Craig. And Greg, what you got for me to react to? Hey, it's good seeing you. Good seeing you good too, seeing man. Again. It's been a while. Yeah. Been a little while. Yeah. Um, so I've got another Kofi request. You know, we've uh, we published actually as the time is recorded, and we have just published a few of our own songs to each other, right? It's been a while. So a while. going back to yeah. the Kofi. Okay, mixing it up a little. Pour more coffee, because uh, that's what's going on. So this one is from, I, th I believe, Ian Northcliffe. I think he has requested something in the past, I think. Yeah, it sounds but familiar. That yeah, okay. His name sounds familiar. Yeah. So, so Ian uh, has requested, um, and th this, this is a band name that, from when we were doing one of our reactions from maybe like a month or so ago, mm -hmm. the uh, one of the musicians was connected to the band Super Furry Animals. And I remember when I said that, you were like, man, that's a really cool name. So here we go. Maybe it was Ian was, who was paying attention and said, all right, I'm going to give him some Super Furry Animals. And the name of the song is, in parentheses, Drawing. And then the song is Rings Around the World. Drawing Rings Around the World. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, go check it out, man. Come on back and tell everyone what you think. All right.
Hey, man. So what did you think about that song? Yeah, goddamn piece of crap. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now we got that out of the way. <laughs> what did you think about <laughs> <Yeah>. the song? <laughs> no, no, I liked it. Um, you know, we were talking recently. I was, I was, ex- I was explaining away about, like, <laughs> about, um, you know, sometimes you like pop sounds, sometimes you don't. This yeah. had a good combination of non-pop and pop. You I know, know. when it did that refrain, rings around the world, you know, it was really yeah. catchy to me. Da, 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 and I thought da, this was just da, a good da, da. groove to it, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Uh, the only thing I would change is to shorten the end a little bit because it was just all that, you know, uh, talk dialogue and, and radio signal sounds and stuff. You know what I mean? Or extend the music a bit more because I actually well, yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah. a short. Sure, I thought it was sure. a short song. I was like, "Whoa!" Sure, was... extend the music a little bit. Yeah, but I get your point though. Right, yeah. but other Less than that, that, I mean, that's yeah, that's being picky. I I do. Um, I really do like the song. Yeah. So what tell a, me about it. What an odd sort of you know con- uh, a combo, right? You know, um, I don't know if they came up with the with the pop song first, you know, and then they said, ah, this is too light and poppy. And, you know, let's put some. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess we're going to put some teeth and metal to it. You know, I don't really know. You know, but this. I guess you'd have to hear their other stuff, too, and see what, you know. That's the thing, too. Like, yeah. Their approaches. Yeah. And I Not don't that really... that would define everything they do, but at least you get some. General I don't really. Stuff. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really do part of my homework. I didn't really go far back into all the other stuff um i think i think this sound has been an evolving one you know it's changed i think it's um some i don't i don't know if it's later when it got stripped down or earlier but you know they definitely um from what i understand you know the sort of reinventing change changing not staying stagnant in the sound so anyway this was um uh from their 2001 album um of the same song title name okay and it was their fifth one um, of rings around the name of the album was rings around the world yes yes okay. and uh again 2001 okay. so uh it's um so where do i begin okay so i started with that uh interesting that on this album paul mccartney and former velvet underground member john cale uh made oh, we did a john some... cale song yeah not too long ago so they both did, made... i'm sorry they did what they sang yeah, they both made appearances on the album. Yep. Did, did they sing on this particular song? No, not this one. Okay. Um, the sound that was identified for this album, uh, pop, progressive, punk, electronica, death, metal, and some other stuff too. Um, I think some of that can be applied to the other songs, other albums, you know, in the past. Yeah, that's quite a, quite a range, actually. Yeah. They have nine studio albums out. They formed um, uh, in, the, in, the, in Cardiff, which is the capital city of Wales. And that was uh, yeah. 19... That's what that, they found that giant. <laughs> Wait, what giant? The Cardiff giant. Is that a real story? Yeah, but it was how... fake, of course. Oh, how big was the giant? Yeah, pretty big. <laughs> and he was fake. Like the, he never even even existed, or was it a big guy? No, I think it was a. I think it might have been a P.T. Barnum hoax. I'm not sure. Look at that! And how many years ago are we talking about now? P.T. Barnum? What was he around? Uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, when that was, was that we're talking about like years ago or just something oh, recently? Yeah, like, you know, 100 years ago. Maybe. Wow. Okay. All right. Yeah. No, more than that. More than that. And there's something you just knew. I wow. keep thinking 100 years ago, sometime in the 1800s, but <laughs> it's actually 19. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so 1993, they formed. Uh, then they ended 2010. Then they said, oh, what the hell? You know, we missed each other. And then they got back 2015. And it was a short stint. Got 2016, long, they're like, you know what? We kind of remembered why we don't like each other. <laughs> and then they split. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's what happens, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And right now, a lot of fans are like, that's not what happened. <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. I'm having well. fun. I'm having fun. It's all new to us. Uh, let's see. So, um, yeah, Wiki actually describes the sound of this song, okay, as um, status quo-esque. Status say, quo-esque. Wait, say that again? Status quo, right? That band who did the, like, the Matchstick Men, right? Status quo and then esque at the end. Okay. So that, that's interesting. Whoever, like, oh. contributed that information into Wiki, um, that's what he had to say, or she, or they. Um, so Wiki, uh, the meaning, uh, it's based on an idea put forward by Gruff. Gruff Rise, R H Y S, Gruff, 
Gruff Rise, um, lead vocals and guitar, and the chief songwriter, from what I understand. So the meaning of the song, it was an idea put forward by Rise girlfriend, uh, girlfriend's father, uh, about, and it's about, in quotes, all the rings of communication around the world, all the rings of pollution and all the radio- radioactivity that goes around. Yeah. So, you know, before we take off, just want to say, I know you didn't like that ending uh, with all that stuff. No, you know? it wasn't terrible or anything. I just would have preferred the music to go for it. But, you know, part, part of that was um, there's like a telephone ring. And Is then, that part of what's going around the world with the and, communications? Yeah, but then also someone's okay. trying to get through to someone else. And I thought like about that Pink Floyd song. I thought know? about it too when I heard it, yeah. And she's like, yeah. Mr. Floyd, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It keeps on hanging up. I don't understand, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I um, that that bass was really great. I love the bass. Um, and just because I wrote it down, and I think it's actually really interesting, but, um, I mean, those vocals, that's the thing, too. What made it really pop poppy was just, like, the, the vocal harmonizing, which was really good, you know? And yeah. it, to me, it sounded like almost like early 60s Beach Boys, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, Really interesting. So cool. Um, this is your reaction. So you had the final word and take us out. Uh, yeah, just this was this was a good uh, thank you, Ian Northcliffe, for that. And um, all right, hit all the good buttons, as I like to say. And um, we will catch you all next time on Into the Music. See ya. <laughs>